DE Mazda 2 and a door lock that's acting funny. So what the, what the customer has said to me is when they turn the key, they're not hearing anything and the door is neither locking nor unlocking. So what I've done, because this is a scrap car, I've cut out a huge section of the door so I can show you all the internal workings. So let's come a little bit closer and I'll, sh I'll show you how this works. So within the door, so I'm pushing the handle out so you can see that's the handle there and it's going to the back of this latch mechanism here and if I turn the key it's turning this here, okay? So that's your door handle and that's your key, all right? Equally so, you've got your door handle here, which you can't actually see any action going on right now, but it'll be having some action within there, and that's the locking mechanism. Now you'll notice, because the door's open, I actually can't lock it at the moment. If you want to test it, what you can do is use a pretty broad gauge screwdriver to simulate this thing here. So over here you've got the catch for the door and using the screwdriver I can simulate it. So if you come back here, if I push that in, the door at this stage is actually thinking that it's closed. So I can then, by pulling on the lever, I can open it. So there it's closed and I can't get it out. I pull the lever and I can. Equally so, if I was to close it, and pull the door handle, I can then do that, okay? So that's, in, in effect, tricking this mechanism to think that it is uh, actually closed into the door frame. And just to show you I'm not making this up, if I was to close the door, lock the door, oh, hang on, if I take the electrics out, so it doesn't, I'll just disconnect the electrics for this bit. So if I close the door and lock the door, I can't get my screwdriver out, okay? So I would need to then either unlock it here or I can unlock it with the key. Hang on, got the wrong way. And get it out, okay? So this is our, this is our physical mechanisms here and here. This is our electrical mechanism. So the electrics is for the central locking so that if I lock this, it will lock the other doors. So it obviously sends a message down these, um, down these wires and locks or unlocks the other doors. Now, that's the first part of the video. For the second part of the video, I want to show you how to remove this, uh, this assembly. So if you, if you just come around here, the first thing I'm going to do is on the back of this rod, I'm going to disconnect this um, little stay at the top. So if I flick that off and pull that out, so I've disconnected that. As it turns out, I actually don't have to do the other one. I'll show you why when we get it out. Now, around here, you'll see that there is a little uh, plastic lug. That is a little cover. For you, you're going to have to use a little flathead screwdriver. For me, because I can get to the back of it, I can just pop it out with my finger. Now, on the other side of that, is a T25 um, bolt. So if you look there, so if you, if you come right around here, you'll see that I've put the T25 through, through the hole, and I've connected into there. Okay, so if you just pull out a bit. So if we then loosen off that T25, it is actually a captured bolt, so even though I'm going to roll it right the way out, it's actually not going to completely come out. Oops, excuse me, I'll be back in a second. Radio. And similarly, there's another, there's another T25 just here. So if I remove that as well, well sorry, when I say remove, I'm going to loosen it because it's actually captured in the assembly that it's in. What I should then find if we go around to the other side of the door, is that I can now pop this out. So that should come out. It's a little bit tricky because it's 
there we go, at the back. So now, so that's one section there. So there's that little connector that we had on the back side. So that was what used to connect onto there. So we've now got that out. So that's what our external door handle looks like now. From here, super easy. All you need to do is grab the handle and I'm gonna pull it back towards myself. So I grab the handle, pull it back, and roll it out. Okay, so now I've got all of the external stuff off. So if we come back around this side now. And I should be able to... Oh, hang on. I think that one's got to come out a little bit more. I haven't quite got it. There we go. I just need to take it out a little bit more. And then you're out, okay? So these, so that's your internal piece and the external piece. If you do want to reconstruct it, you can pop the door handle back in like that, and you can put your lock in like that, and there it is reconstructed. So that's how they work. That's how you get them in and out. I've done it with a whole section missing, so for you it's going to be, unfortunately, a lot harder, but at least now you know what you're trying to do, and that's half the battle. So thanks very much. See you later.